this is not exactly the video I wanted to make. I was hoping to make an install video of the replacement unit from Cody Energy. Showing you all the bells and whistles, having it up and running, but it's not working. The replacement won't even turn on. When I try to pre-charge the capacitors, the resistor is getting way too hot and uh, I feel like there's a dead short somewhere. I don't know. It's not working. And they don't even look the same, do they? I mean, this is the original unit. It's got all the labeling, QC, pass, Info sticker right here, inputs, outputs, terminals, positive, negative, everything looks good. Even a shock hazard caution. And QC pass, and high potent pass, I have no idea what that is. And if you see the, the inputs, the box itself, it's quite different than the replacement. Weird, right? The display seems like a cheap knockoff of that one. And this one is, I love this button, say, nice to, nice to press and they work great. This one, it worked for about 15 minutes and buttons were lagging, couldn't really, save my battery settings correctly i have to push really hard to make it work so they claim it's the same product but it doesn't really look like it this one turns on but there's a problem with the voltage detection somewhere in the motherboard i connect the lithium battery i say it's about 52 volts and the display says 40 volts and it shuts down because of battery low voltage and this one won't even turn on right now I have no idea I think it's a uh, dead short no install video but a cool comparison video look at it allegedly the same unit. My guess is that this unit has not been tested correctly. No labels, no nothing. So my plan right now is to get one working unit out of these two, but I have to find the problem first. Um, I'm no engineer, so I will Google hard and try to make it work. Cody Energy will not help me. <laughs> they claim that I have destroyed the units on purpose. Why would I do that? Why? <laughs> if you guys have any inputs on any idea what could be the problem, or if any of you guys know with a link to somewhere I can read about these motherboards or any tips and pointers of how to make this work would be greatly appreciated. Now I know this is a case of you get what you pay for I guess but and please don't don't write that in the comments I know I really want it to work. I'm gonna open up both of these units to make a comparison just to see if, if there's anything burnt or destroyed. I've sent videos to Cody Energy explaining the problem, showing them inside of this unit 
asked if they needed anything else for me to get the warranty, but nope, no warranty. They're accusing me of uh, manipulating the video, <laughs> all sort of things, but I guess uh, yeah. I removed the uh, affiliate link from uh, the introduction video for from Cody Energy Inverter. I really don't want you guys to buy these units. And it's a shame because they look really cool, in my opinion, and much like a grow up uh, clone inside, I guess. Uh, something similar. So maybe if I talk to some people at Growot or Power Mister or uh, those guys, maybe they can help me. I don't know. So please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos of things not working.